The UN Office of the Commission for Human Rights released a document this week that completely exonerates the leadership of the Chinese region of Xinjiang uh, from accusations of genocide or use of slave labor. This document, which is 121 pages long, explains clearly how a spate of deadly terrorist attacks triggered changes, which have been remarkably successful. Extremist violence is gone, and the people of the area have been lifted out of poverty with education, jobs, free healthcare, which has raised their longevity to developed world standards. Wait, you say, that's not the summary you read in the media. Really? Well, here are the facts. The UNHCR released a pair of documents on August 31, a 46-page one from their office listing concerns and a 121-page one responding to those concerns. The mainstream media wrote fanciful articles purportedly based on the first and hid the second. Why hide it? Well, the first is a summary of tired old sources which are mostly anonymous or recycled from Western media. The second is from the actual working officials in Xinjiang, a place led by councils made up of ethnic minority people and Han Chinese people. But here's the twist. Both documents say there's been no genocide in Xinjiang. That's the big news. If the media was fair, that would be the headline. What about the concerns raised by the first document? Well, there are about 12 million Uyghur people in Xinjiang, but this quotes the tiny number of mostly anonymous people making horrendous allegations in the West, people who have been repeatedly tracked to Western-funded groups like World Uyghur Congress. To give one example, the footnotes lead to allegations by people such as a, a lady named South Bay. Trustworthy? Well, uh, she told one interviewer that the terrible thing was that they were forced to eat pork and told another interviewer that the terrible thing was that they were forced to be vegetarian. She told one interviewer that she was a camp detainee, another that she was a camp uh, staff member. Her story changed so often that people on all sides realised it was some sort of political theatre. Well, you decide. And while you're thinking about that, here's a picture of her with a mate of hers. That's Michael Pompeo, former director of the CIA. Meanwhile, here's something that the media wants you to forget. Just this summer, when this UN officer moved away from the demonization script, reporters denounced her work as terrible, uh, marking her as someone who can never be trusted again. Now, when they have something that they can use to get back to the demonization project, her department's work is totally trustworthy. Again, you, know, you can't make this stuff up. A little healthy skepticism is a good thing. Peace.